It's one thing to get up the mountains, it's a completely different task to get down them. The art of the descent is a big statement. In fact, it's not an art. You have some riders who are born to descend quickly, and they're often the good sprinters. Peter Sagan takes the best line and descends really quickly. In fact, you need to anticipate the conditions to choose the best direction at 80 km per hour. You must take the outside line, then the inside, and exit on the outside. It's the same philosophy as a downhill skier or in a motor car. You must know if it's a tricky corner or a large one to know if you need to hit the brakes before or not. And you cannot be afraid. Plus, you must have a good sense of balance and it's a bonus if you have a low center of gravity. And if you have a good sense of direction of the road, you can take a little more risk. And you must have a little kamikaze. I don't know about not scared, but uh, you know, definitely we have to take a few more risks to, to try and make the time cut sometimes. And, uh, you know, these guys can go uphill pretty fast and unfortunately we can go downhill pretty fast sometimes but it's just about working together and uh, always having everyone looking after each other. I'm a good descender because I did mountain biking when I was young. I learn a little more each year that there's no specific training, it's really just experience. The precedent is Lucien Aimer, who won the Tour de France in 1966 because of his descending ability. But this year it will not be enough for Nibali because after the descents there's always a valley road or some more climbing to contend with. When you attack in the descent, you take a big risk. You can gain a lot of time, but you can also lose a lot. So it's up to the individual. But to win the Tour, you must take risks.